Hey, I want to make a quick video going on an update for my scare form. So I've been doing this for a few days now and I've been back for quite a bit more. So I just want to talk about what I'm doing now, how I'm rolling my maps and like the best scare combinations and all that. So if you're wondering, is this strat still a really good profit? The answer is yes, but you really want to kill the boss. So if your character can't kill the boss, the profit just simply won't be as good now because all map prices have gone up, but the fragments have also like gone up in return. So yeah, as long as you're killing the boss, it's still a very, very good profit. Um, without MF gear, I think it's still okay profit. If you don't have MF gear, you really, really want to use Glitter and Scarab. But yeah, you, this is mostly an MF farm. Even just 40 or 50% quant goes a long way. So yeah. So the first major thing I want to talk about is how to roll your maps and what map mods are you really looking out for. So I boiled my maps down to make them easier to roll. So essentially, I'm looking for three different things now. Rare modifiers. So if I do like, let's say plus two. Oh, I guess it doesn't work. Right, right here. So rare monsters each have two additional modifiers. So I'm looking for a map like this and it needs to have more scarabs. So since this map does not have more scarabs, I would not run it. Or I'm looking for shapers touched. So right here, rare monsters area are shaper touched. Once again, this needs more scarabs. So this could be a potential map I could run. Or I'm looking for high more scarabs, like 150% or more maybe 130% or more with high pack size. So it's three different maps. So uh, once again, it's either rare monsters have two different modifiers with any more scare of amount, shape of touch with any more scare of amount or a high pack size slash um, more scare of amount. So a map like this, for example, it doesn't have shape of touch or plus two rare modifier but it has 100% has more scarabs and 55% pack size. Ideally, you want like 130% more scarabs here, so this map's kind of mediocre. But yeah, I brought my mouse down to like this because it takes a lot of cast roll maps. I just want to do more mapping rather than all my maps all the time. And I felt like this was the best solution. So I have double regex now, which means I regex my maps twice, which, you know, is pretty annoying, but it's just the most optimal way. So I'll roll like all my maps like this, use chaos to roll your maps. Right, once they all highlight up, you then use your second regex. I'll have both these linked down in the description below, but I would advise to make your own regex as maybe you can't run all the mods that I can run. So yeah, and then second regex, now all these maps highlight, um, highlight, and now these are the maps you can potentially run. There still isn't enough regex room to hide all the bad mods, so I don't still have to look over each map individually. But yeah, I hope that helps and explains how I am running my maps, like what I'm rolling on them. Um, what type of maps I'm looking for, etc. So yeah. Now past that, what, you know, what is the best scarab setup? So hopefully these map rolls made sense. And yeah, we can talk about scarabs now. So I think the best scarab setup is going to be the Glittering, Nemesis, Bloodlines, and Lineage. And now Glittering can be replaced for Hunted Traders. I'm not really sure which one is better. My character is, I believe right now, 85% quant. So not really sure what's better this is around like 20 percent more in a shot of my current quant values but 100 traders is a lot more packs and those packs are also magic because of bloodlines so yeah that's one setup you can run or you can do uh scarab of adversaries uh glittering hunted traders nemesis and this glittering can be another four additional mirror red packs once again still not sure which is best so yeah this setup is also very good let me talk about this setup first though so the Bloodlines one is very strong, but the issue with this, it's getting really expensive. And this reaches like two divines. I don't really think it's worth using anymore over just a normal setup. When I was buying this for like one to 1.4 divines, it was pretty worth it. But two divines, I'm really not sure if it's the best choice. You can obviously run 20 yourself, record your data and see uh, how much value you get out of it compared to a normal setup, but yeah. So, if you are doing this bloodline setup, you really want to go for these high pack size, high more scarab maps, more so than the rare modifier maps, as you get more value from the pack size and more scarabs. If you're running the standard setup with uh, Nemesis, Hunted Traders, RCs, and Glittering, then you can run like any map setup, but obviously the plus two rare modifier setup is the most ideal. One thing I also want to mention with this is that if you are doing the rare modifier setup, and this is only for the rare modifier setup, it also kind of works for Shaper Touch, but meat sacks are very, very good, and their prices have gone down since they nerfed one of the shots with them. 
But yeah, for us, this meat sack is now actually way more affordable. And it's really, really good if you're doing plus two rare modifiers. You can add two meat sacks on your maps, even three if you really want to. But keep in mind, they are very, very tanky, but low damage monsters. Yeah, only uses with the rare monsters have two shield modifiers or shaper's touch. Meat sacks could just drop a lot of scarabs and a lot of loot. So very strong. So yeah. You can do either or setup. Like I said, I'm still not sure which one is the best, but the sh all the setups I'm showing right now are really, really strong. And you, know, you can record your own data, see what's better for you. And most importantly, it really depends on the price. Like, like I said, if Bloodlines is like one divine each, then 100% always run Bloodlines. But if it's going to be like two divines each, then I'm not really sure. Um, it also really depends on scare prices as well, like how much you're going to back, right? So yeah, hope this explains the whole scare farm setup and like, you know, what you maps you should run and what scarabs you should run. Um, try out things for yourself, record your own data, and it really depends at the time of prices. So yeah, um, that's about it. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below. Hopefully I explained this well enough what maps you should run and all that. I'll just, once again, rare modifiers plus two with any more scarabs, shape or touch with any more scarabs, and then if it doesn't have either, then make sure the map has high pack size and high more scarabs. These are the three type of maps you should be running, but also keep in mind, shape or touch is very hard. Unless your build is really, really strong, you might not be able to run it. But yeah, that's about it.